names in this baby book. Every name in the whole world is in here, and it tells you what they mean, too. All oh, right, what does Molly mean? Let's see. Uh, here it is, Molly. Little Mary one. Oh, Molly, that is the perfect name for you. <laughs> okay, now let's see what Lunette means. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, lollipop. Lufa, Lulu. Well, Lunette's not in here. But that can't be. <gasps> Molly, do you know what this means? It means Lunette doesn't mean anything at all. <gasps> Meanie. Yeah, maybe a clock rug stretch would make me feel better. Care to join me? <laughs> I guess it's worth a try. been going about this whole name thing all wrong. So what if the name Lunette isn't in this baby book? Right, it doesn't matter. I'll just change my name. <laughs> well, a name doesn't have to be forever, you know. No way. Besides, Lunette isn't very fancy, and it doesn't shorten to anything cute. Hmm, who wants to be Looney? Not me, that's for sure. Now, to decide what my new name will be. Let's see. Bengeldorf Gavrinstein Dornip. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Upside down. Let's see. Folanina. Oh, look, even the Follies are in here.
think of Lollipop. Hey, we could be Lolly and Molly. How jolly. Oh, but I want something more grown up sounding. Hmm. Gladiola? Nah, too flowery. <sighs> Wait a second. <gasps> By George, I think I've got it. <gasps> Sarsaparilla. Oh, it's the most beautiful name in the whole wide world. Sarsaparilla. Oh, it means a uh, sparkling and bubbly. <gasps> Isn't that elegant? <sighs> Forget Lunette. I am now the sensational, sophisticated Sarsaparilla the Clown. What do you think, Molly? Do I seem different? I don't. Well, hey, I know. Let's go to the vanity. You can help me pick out a different outfit for my new and improved fancier self. Great. Sarsaparilla needs a new pair of shoes. Some clown named Sarsaparilla should wear something very sassy. Ooh. Ah. Bubbly? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> oh. This is Barilla feels fabulous! Shall we go repose on the divan, darling? <gasps> Hold it! Oh, well, a fancy clown like Sarsaparilla should have a, a fancy Nancy couch in her home. Ugh. Oh, this, this simply will not do! Ugh. Here you go, Molly. I want this couch to look as good as new. I know. Where's that plastic wrap it came in? Classy couch for a classy clown. <laughs> How's that, Molly? It's better, Molly, honest. Here, Molly, fish away. <sighs> you know, Molly, I'm too rambunctious to go fishing right now. Besides, I have a special announcement to make to Granny. <laughs> Shall we? Sarsaparilla, I can't wait to tell Granny my big news! Come on! Tummy tuck. <laughs> hey, you two. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Hubble what? Yeah. Oh, hello, Lunetka. Mm. Say hello to the new cart on the block. Pretty hip, huh? You're looking pretty snappy yourself today. Holy guacamole! Oh, why did you change the cart? It was so nice the way it was. Well, I figured I'm not living in the old country anymore. It's about time I got on the swing of things. This newfangled stuff makes the cart seem more modern, don't you think? Mm. Why, that little pickle puss? Where did he go? Uh. Oh, there he goes. Aha! Oh. Oh. oh, it's bigger than it used to be. Come here, Snickle Fritz. Okay, Mr. Mischief. The 
better you behave, the faster these obedience lessons will be over. <sighs> oh, Granny, I have the most wonderful news. I have decided to change my name to Sasparilla. Cesspool. What? No, no, no. Sasparilla. Yes, if you have trouble remembering, just call me Sassy for short. Isn't it marvelous? It means sparkling and bubbly. But Lunette is a perfectly good name for a clown. Lunette is a perfectly boring name. Sasparilla is a bazillion times better. Okay, whatever you say, Glass Slipperella. But you'll always be Lunette to me. Good. Now, I want to see you walk all the way around the cart without letting the book fall. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, Sassafras, I've got to hang up my sheet music. My name is Sasparilla. Package for Lunette the Clown. Gee, I must be in the wrong place. Oh, excuse me, miss. Do Granny and Lunette still live here? <laughs> Certainly. You see, um, Granny still lives here, but Lunette does not live here anymore. What? Lunette moved away? And she didn't even say goodbye? Oh, no, Major Bedhead, don't cry. It's okay, I'm still here. It's me, see? It's just my name has changed. Yes, from now on, please call me Miss Sasparilla the Clown. Oh, can I call you Sassy? Sure. Okay, Sassy. Well, I best be rolling along. Oh, you who made your bed head? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. My unicycle. No, I meant my package. <laughs> oh, I can't give this to you, Sassy. I took the courier's promise. I can only give this package to the one it's addressed to. And it says right here, Miss Lunette. Oh, but it's mine. No, no, this is for Lunette. <laughs> No, but it's it's mine, really, you know. Now look here, young clown. This is for Lunette. Uh, it's mine. Give it to me, Sassy. No, it's mine. It's Lunette's. Mine. Kids, kids, kids. Now come on, settle down on the steps, so we can figure this out before someone loses an eye. Okay, now that we are all comfortable, let's get down to Bird's Nest. What is all this Caplacus about? Well, I can't give this package to Sassy because it would break the courier's most important rule. Well, the name Lunette is not in our baby book, and I didn't want to be some clown that doesn't mean anything, so I changed my name to Sparkling and Bubbly Sarsaparilla instead. Lunette. Now, that's a fine name. A name of a girl who is sparkling and bubbly. And more. Lunette the Clown. Sarsaparilla isn't very me, is it? I'm proud of who I am. And if my name is a symbol of that, then I guess I'm proud of it, too. Granny, Major Bedhead, I've decided to go back to being Lunette! Can I have my package now? Why, certainly! Package for Lunette the Clown. Why, thank you. Let's see. Oh, it's from my Auntie Macassar. Dearest Lunette, that's me. <laughs> I have gone around this world in 80 ways and never stay put too long. But I never leave any place behind, cause I know I'll always come around again. How do you catch a shooting star? It's there and then it's not and it won't come back. It's gone in a wink, in a wink it's gone. Sometimes you get lucky. If you catch it on the rebound, you might find, and so have I found, you can catch it as it's coming round again. Spinning like a spinning top, the world goes around and never stops, it turns. Follow it around.
around but you keep coming back to the same old spot where you began and sometimes like the seasons winter bounces up to springtime springtime rises into summer summer falls and then it's winter all again spinning like a spinning top the world just turns and never stops it turns I'm sending you this continuous motion machine to remind you of my never-ending love. See you around, your Auntie Macassar. Hmm. Oh, neato. By George, I think he's got it. Who's George? Hmm? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. and tell him to take this fancy schmancy stuff back. <laughs> well, so long, Lunette. And best of all, so long, Sarsaparilla. Mm -hmm. Right, well, see ya. Bye-bye, Badhead. <sighs> Bye, Granny. Bye-bye, Lunetka. Molly will be glad to see I'm back to my loony old self. And I bet she'll get a kick out of this continuous motion thing, too. Here I am, and I'm back. It's me, Lunette. Ugh. This couch isn't comfy anymore. You can't cuddle on it or, or play or dream on it. All you can do is, well, look at it. So, like Granny said, Out with the new, and in with the old. There. Much better. Back to normal. Now, how about a story? Okay. Molly? We need good light. Now, what tale would you like to hear about today? Oh, one about Snicklefritz. Okie dokie, I know just the story. Here we go, the Clown Town Cat Show. 
On the day of the cat show, Snicklefritz was very excited. He wanted to win first prize so Granny would be proud. For the first part of the contest, the cats stood in their most perfect poses. Pickles, the plump Persian, postured pleasantly. Saffron, the sleek Siamese, stood still as a statue. And then there was Snicklefritz. For the second part, the cats paraded in single file. But Snicklefritz thought this was too easy. The audience laughed and clapped, but the judges just didn't get his jokes. Now came the time for the talent showcase. Hoity and Toity danced a delightful pas de deux. But it was Snicklefritz who stole the show, playing hairballs of fur on the piano. Everybody loved it, even the judges. Then a judge stood up to announce the winners. Third prize goes to Toity the Tabby. Second prize is awarded to Saffron. And the first prize ribbon goes to... Pickles the Persian! Snifflefritz wished that he had won, but he clapped for Pickles too. Then the judge spoke up once more. This year we've added a special prize that goes to the silliest cat. And the prize goes to... Snicklefritz! <laughs> Granny was proud indeed. And when they walked home together, she told him, Kitty, cat show or no cat show, I love you just the way you are. The end. And Molly, I love you just the way you are, and I love this couch just the way it is, and even little old me just the way I am. <laughs> oh, hey, look at what we got. It's a continuous motion machine. Watch. See? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, kids and clowns aren't like continuous motion machines. Sometimes we have to stop and take a rest. Ugh, I'm just about ready. F hey, wait a minute. Who made this big mess? <coughs> Me? I did, didn't I? <sighs> well, some things never change. And I had to clean it up. It's only fair. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! whenever you come over. <laughs> oh, Molly, did you know that Lunette means quirky, cuddly clown? And the clown jumped over the moon. <laughs> 